Welcome to episode 24 of the Fools on a Hill podcast, where we bring you the latest news and our expert opinion on the newest releases in the world of music. I am your host, Cal, and I am joined by Yanni and Liam. How are you? Hello. Guys? Yes, you are. But good. Am. Fantabulous, good. mate. Good. Good stuff. I've still got Liam living with me. Uh, oh, that's yeah. the update. That's the update. Still nothing here. Else, nothing else new? Still hanging on, still scrounging. He is scrounging. He's been nicking my Rusters burgers and I've not been happy about it. I've oh. replaced it. I went and bought some more today. I'm not past it. Why are you some different flavours on as well? It's hot. It's a hard time. Why are you eating Rustlers burgers? That's We're just... struggling in this in this household. It seems they're, like they're, it. Rustlers are good if you cheap t- if you uh, if you toast the bread. Yeah. That's the number one tip. Then you don't get soggy bread. You exactly. don't want soggy bread. You cook um. your burgers and then you take them from them onto the so you get rid of all the grease. Jobs are good. Well problem mate. You'll be shitting for days, but alas. Oh dear. Let's move on to what's the story? Malady, the band, the group, the entourage are releasing a new track. <laughs> go on, the sorry, ne- Carl, go on. The next block party, as one of the uh, reviews said about them, which I think pissed them off. Quite really? A lot, based on their Instagram posts, they put like a a Q and A thing where they said, "Do we really sound like block party?" I think they got quite say. offended. <laughs> I don't think block they party sound about. anything like Block Party. No, I don't think. I think it's just a lazy stereotype. Yeah, very lazy. Um, they got a new track out this Friday, uh, which is the 14th of May. It's called Famous Last Words. Like Excited? The, uh, like the My Chemical Romance song. Which, yeah. we all, which we all know and love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we should say we're recording this on a Wednesday, not the typical Thursday. So oh, yes, there may be some things that we're not going to be able to cover this week, but yep. we'll just pick it up next, yep. obviously. Um, are we excited? Yes, I'm, I'm buzzing for this. I'm buzzing as well. Yeah. London, I love you, but you're bringing me down. It's one of my favourite tunes of the past year or so. And it feels mm-hmm. like it's been a long time coming for the follow up. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I really love um, the track they put out before that Wheel of Fortune, which is only on YouTube. Oh, so indie. I really, no, but I really do love that song. And he knew that I before need they were to listen to it. Um, <laughs> and I wish they just released that properly. Although it is prop, it's a full song. It says demo, but it's pretty well fleshed out. Um, but it's just on YouTube. But um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to see what's coming from my lady this week on the music. <laughs> <laughs> um, go on, I'll take the next one too. Woohoo! Go Get on your dabbers roll, out, baby. Uh, next up, King Gizzard and his wizard lizard, lizard wizard, lizard wizard. the wizard <laughs> of lizards, uh, have announced uh, a new album. Uh, you know, finally. Yeah, it's about time um, been what a month. God, <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, it's called Butterfly Three Thousand, which is a, it's a really good name. Uh, it's any relation to Andre. Uh, yeah, it's, it's his brother. It's bro- it's his brother. Yeah, cool. Yeah, um, they <laughs> on their post on Instagram they put no singles, so which is interesting in itself. There's going to be no singles. Well, that's a good job we've all got girlfriends. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, baby, the couples club. Um, it also says <laughs> leave your keys in the vault. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, honey. Uh, they've said melodic and psychedelic, so I guess they're going back so, a little bit more. King Gizzard, then? Well, no, I don't think the last few albums have been <laughs> melodic, melodic or psychedelic. <laughs> really, been a bit more like kind of heavy, I guess, haven't they? As opposed to psychedelic, heavy, heavy dude. Uh, and also the last word, yeah, sorry, last little line: cross-eyed auto stereogram, auto stereogram, auto stereogram. Don't know what that means. Say it no, again, I and it might sink in. <laughs> cross-eyed. I'm looking at it with cross-eyed just to see if I can change that. <laughs> cross-eyed. <laughs> Auto-stereogram. One word. Auto-stereogram. Ah, yes. You know those things. But anyway, uh, yeah, going back to uh, going back to their roots, I guess. Or, I don't know. I don't know if they've ever been psychedelic necessarily. Maybe they're going full hog psychedelic. That would be hog. interesting to see. <laughs> 
Uh, if you Google auto stereogram, there's a lot of things, a lot of weird things going on on Google Images. Um, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Next one, it's Low Hummer. We've covered some tracks by them previously. I'm actually very excited about this. Because Me too. I like the last one a lot. The track is called The People, This Place, and it's out next Tuesday. No, it's not. No, it's not. For June. It's out Tuesday, the 18th of well, June. Then, I didn't read out. I didn't read June. Um, <laughs> why have we put Tuesday? I don't know why. Uh, so everyone I, knows I, a specific it's date for this. It's a random date. It is. I don't know why I put um, that through the day, up. but sorry. It's not out next Tuesday. Sorry for the people who uh, got very excited in the split <laughs> second before the correction occurred. It's, it's out 18th of June, which, funnily enough, it's a Tuesday, guys. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> wow. um, yeah, Callum, you want to take the next one? Um, yep, Mr. Dukes and Barney Artist have announced a joint album called The Locket, which is to be released on July the 2nd. What um, day that is? <laughs> I presume it's a Friday, but that is a presumption. Uh, wow. Yeah, Mr. Dukes, Jack Stedman from Bombay Bicycle Club. Looking forward to it. Second album, first collaboration album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's also been a, um, a tune released from it, hasn't there, called Vibrate, I think it's called, which we'll cover shortly i'm not gonna guess a time because i didn't get it right last time no yeah you, you, you're very yeah. right about that you didn't um, <laughs> the last thing it was the brit last night as a time of recording this um we all watched it we did what did we all for think better for worse um i mean it was obviously going to be different because of that pesky bloody covid we've mentioned I've got our ball, still right? around. um so obviously you know jack whitehall's impeccable Banter with the uh, with bands was a bit few and far between last night. And he was better last night than I I think he usually. I can't stand Jack Jack Whitehall usually to be honest. No, no. Not for that. but I thought I he had some him. all right jokes last night. Yeah, yeah. at the beginning, <clears throat> he tailed off. A bit. The the intro with uh, uh, Line of Duty, guys. Line of Duty and Jackie Weaver was very good. Yep, I appreciate that a lot. I was very disappointed that it was Jackie Weaver and not Adrian Dunbar though. Yeah, really good. Well, to see a bit it terrible. wouldn't have been the same. No, joke I, no, I know, but I was when I thought they were building it up to to Hastings, and I was very sad. I don't think Hastings has else to work with him. Uh, music, anyway, there was music there as well. Um, favorite performance was there? Is that what it's about? Yeah, the Brits, British oh, right, Music okay. Awards, I think something like that. Um, yeah, there was a lot of people that won awards. Funny enough, yeah, there was yeah, a lot of people yeah. who I'd never heard of. Yeah, Joel Corey. Joel Corey, yeah, yeah, but that bloody song. Yeah. Oh, it's everywhere. I it don't is. know. I don't honestly have never heard really, that. In my life. Really lucky. Um, Julie, whose performance, performance was good. I enjoyed the medley. Did you? Th- was it? <laughs> was it? it Seems that was key most of it. It was. Um, I yeah, me and Liam didn't think it was that good. Yeah, we were we were um, blasting her. We were blasting her with our brains. Julie, but obviously. Uh, incredible, uh, but that performance not so much. Yep, not so good. Not a bit, a bit, uh, not great. Um, who else performed? Otto Parks. The Coldplay. She's pretty good. Um, Coldplay were on the, the Thames. Food. Yeah. With some uh, aliens or something. Holograms, mate. Same thing. <laughs> close, close, very close. Um, we turned um, it off in our house before. Um, Rag and Bone Man and Pink performed. Oh, that was the you very end, though, wasn't it? It was all right. Yeah, Karis has a deep rooted hatred for Rag and Bone Man. Well, yeah, I don't for me. I think I he's her. Pink Jess was Green. massive to her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Pink was huge. I don't know. I've Pink always thought Rag and Bowman was quite a you know quite a large fella, but um, tiny, tiny in comparison to Pink. Pink. Yeah, <laughs> she really took off that stage. Um, you, Callum, I know you love the Elton John in years and years performance of "It's a Sin." Yes, <laughs> which we'll also cover later yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. Um, I still can't stand that driver's license song. I just she did really well. I thought, I thought the performance, was, great, performance was good. Yeah, the song is just true. very meh, but I don't think it's as bad as you make it out to be. I no, just I, I hate it so much. It's a fine song. It's a it's a perfectly well written song. Also, for there was she's lots like of, she had on the scene with shh. Yeah, when there, there was no need to have the shh sound. It's just like a list thing. That's not a, you can't blame her for that. She's sixteen. I have speech impediment. Is she sixteen? Well, she's sixteen, man. <laughs> well, she's got a driver's license. Oh yes, who? 
Well, Showed you your know, revelations last got, week, so... She's got plenty of time to take on my uh, criticism on board. I guess um, so. The, uh, the rap performance was not very good. There was, there was no huh. enthusiasm for anything going on. Olivia Rodrigo is 18, so you can slag her off as much as you want. But yeah, well... She's not done. She has to take it. Um... <laughs> Who were the who were the grime artists that were Heady, Rick Heady Ron and AJ Tracy and someone else? There was just a lack three, of what? Were there not three of them? No, it was just those two. I think it was just a lack of um, yeah, energy. To lack be honest. of enthusiasm. Um, also, the weekend, you know, if you just stayed inside your little square, you wouldn't have to worry about the rain, mate. Yeah, Why are you going outside. Step outside. Stop ruining your clothes, man. That was a good performance as well, and that looked cool. It did look cool, but it was pre-recorded, so I mean. Fuck you weekend. So fuck you the weekend. More like who, the weekday. Who else did a, someone um, else did a performance that wasn't there? Who wasn't there? Um, they wasn't there. Um, I can't remember. Yep, can't remember either. No, I, wasn't, that I wasn't really watching it. It was on in the background for me. Um I think most of the people we expected to win won. Mm-hmm. Um I say we didn't talk about it, but I, I can all <laughs> uh, can all um What? Sorry? I'm losing my mind. Um, oh, we expected Billy Eilish to win, and yeah. I, I I didn't see how Harry Styles wasn't going to win. Yeah, compared to the people yeah. he was against. <laughs> and <laughs> Future the... Nostalgia, I think, deserved to win the album. You love that one, don't you? Yeah, it's a very he loves album. it. Yeah. Taste Wiz won a uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. Don't know why. What's she done? I mean, she's um, like free. Well done magic. to Little Mix. Um, congratulations if you're listening, girls. Congratulations. Always been a fan since day one. Since day one, I am. Congratulations, first female well group, uh, and you know, congratulations world. on your on your uh, children. Yes. Anyway, that's <laughs> been the story. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, we're it's sort of simmering at the moment. We need simmering. to liven up. Someone turn the gas on, please. Um, we need to oh. make sure it's the heat is hot off the press. Can't we bother doing it today? <laughs> Come talk about your album. What have you listened to? Or should I say mini album? Oh, it has been mini. I have listened to Alpha Templeman's <laughs> Forever Isn't Long Enough. You should speak to someone about that, mate. <laughs> yeah, I've been listening to Alpha Templeman's Forever Isn't Long Enough. But 30 minutes is. Um, <laughs> no, that's just, Thank you. My, that's just my thoughts on album length. It, that's a good, good time. And I think that has really good helped time. this album. Because I think sonically, sounds quite similar throughout. However, the shorter time doesn't make it get boring. If this was like you know forty-five minutes pushing an hour, I'd be bored out of my mind. However, I do really like all the songs. I prefer the style of this album to stuff he does with you know under Aerial Days. Um, it reminded me in places of. Nothing but thieves and a bit of model airplanes. Don't know if you've listened to either of them. No. Um, <laughs> I speak for Yanni. No. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was good stuff. I liked the funky aspects of it. Uh, my com- uh, my favourites. <laughs> don't have a name. Eh. Good Liam from last week. <laughs> uh, my yeah, favourites you know, yeah. were shady and. Everybody's going to love somebody. And you know what? One more day as well. I like that. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Throw it in there, man. I liked the uh, female vocals on that with uh, April. That's her name. But yeah, it was good stuff all along. Um, It's not really my bag completely, but I appreciated it and I enjoyed it. And for that, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, All right. I would say I'm surprised by that. Do yeah, you know I think I just mm. feel like a three out of five is a bit harsh because it is very good. Oh, well, you've not really. I think you've sold it like that. To be honest, you? yeah, you didn't say enough words, Callum. <laughs> you need more words. It's all right, mate, because you'll even that out with your too many words, <laughs> so it's fine. Very optimistic. Um, but yeah, I know I, I I like it, and he's quite um, relentless with what he releases, isn't he? Relentless is the wrong word, but he's you know there's a lot of a fast turnover. So Persistent. I'm sure. That's eh, consistent, maybe. Irritating. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I liked it. I did I did like it. And uh, Karis has brought it on vinyl, so I'm sure I'll be listening to it more and more in the future. Good stuff. 
Well, good stuff. for her, eh? Good for Kara. I didn't listen to this, so I'm not going to form an opinion. I'm all. I also didn't. <laughs> Sorry, <Brilliant. Cam. laughs> well, but I, um, I fully intended to? to, so I will. I will listen to it at some point. Don't I lie. did listen to. <laughs> no, I, I oh, did mean to. Still no chance. Um, because I was listening to a different album. Yanni, look at me on, on that way. I don't like looking at you in real no. life. He's looking at me in real life and I don't like it. Because I can I see him in the... Him I'm right. looking at Callum, but I can see him looking at me <laughs> in the webcam. And it's very disconcerting. Thank you, Yanni. Um, I listened to the new album from Ice Age, uh, Seek Shelter, it is called. It came out this year. Uh, it's their fifth studio album, I believe. And they are from Denmark. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> From, <laughs> are you just saying things <laughs> the they are from Denmark um, so not much experience of Ice Age before this album apart from the singles that came out we had great film um, Ice Age yeah yeah Scrap great the Squirrel film. makes me laugh every time it was like a stupid nut you just won't you don't want to go over it it's just a relentless for nut it's just always going off that bloody nut the acorn whatever it is uh, I'm on my way <laughs> I'm on my way that's not film isn't it so yeah, we heard a few singles beforehand. We heard Vendetta, we heard uh, The Holding Hand and Gold City before. Um, I was off on top. It starts off with Shelter Song. I think Shelter Song might have come out before the album, actually, but I don't think we covered it and I don't think I'd heard it. Although it feels like a song that I have heard before. It feels very kind of... It's got a nostalgic feel to it and I feel like that is, is the same for a few of these tracks. I'm not sure how to pinpoint where that's coming from. Um, but it's a good opener. It kind of starts off kind of um, a little bit kind of slower and builds into it until you get to kind of the chorus, um, which is great. It's a brilliant chorus. It's um, there's a there's a choir uh, that joins in in the chorus. It's kind of euphoric. Feels very nice. Um, I'm gonna steal what you said, Yanni. No, not actually. I'm not gonna steal what you said. The about this could have finished the album. This could have finished the album is what I was thinking. Yanni is, was thinking, and I was thinking the same. This I've could vocalise this. The ending of this Probably. song with the kind of the chorus, uh, with the um, with the choir, choir, quiet choral uh, voice. Um, it feels like it could have finished the album off, but I'm not upset they didn't. I got some blur it. vibes that I mentioned to you, didn't I? You did, yeah, yeah. And when you said that, I thought, yeah, a bit of tender kind of with the choir and just the kind of this kind of slow plodding kind of guitar um so yeah i agree with that actually oh thanks. That. thanks i agree with that mate. yanni thanks. thank you yanni um callum anything to add no can't absolutely not no um, i don't have anything to add funnily enough <laughs> oh well, that was a good time <laughs> well beautiful um uh, i'm gonna skip track love cool slowly this is also a very good track um kind of again very slow um, until it builds up a little bit and gets a bit more um, fast fast <laughs> <laughs> good words um, but yeah I just kind of like the, the, the vocals and stuff on this track and the guitar lines um, it then goes into Vendetta which was one that we um, listened to on the uh, beforehand this is quite um th- I think this is the most kind of generic track on the album. Not a lot happens on it. I so it just doesn't sound that interesting. Really, Come on, do better, I say. Do better. It's still good. I would say it's just not the best in this album. I also think that Vendetta and Love Kill Slowly should have been in the opposite places because uh, Love Kill Slowly kind of starts off quite slow, with just the piano. It's the third track in. And it feels like it comes up just a bit too early. I think if it followed Vendetta, it'd make a bit more sense. Next we've got Drink Rain, which is another kind of, it's not slow, but it's kind of, um, what's the word? I Fast. I'm trying to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, feels like it, should, it feels like it should have like a, a French person talking over it. Oh, oui. be, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, have you listened to that it? That is some crack in French. <laughs> I got an A in French. Um, <laughs> if you listen to it, you might know what I mean, this, the music. Um but that's fine again. I don't. I'm not a massive fan of that track. Next up, though, this is the point we've all been waiting for. What point? This is the what? We've got Gold City. Gold City, page. Gold, Gold City. Gold City. Page. <laughs> Gold City is one of my favourite songs of this year. Wow. Hands down. Hands up. And possibly like right up there. Um, it's in loft. 
He's right up there in the sky. He threw Taylor Swift on the moon. <laughs> um, fantastic song. Um, structurally, is really great. Um, his voice sounds... His voice works really well. Um, the kind of piano with it fits really well. And there's also like a... Um, I think it's a harmonica, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, it's just really, it's just a really good song. Uh, as I mentioned, the structure, the the structure, the structure is really good. I don't know, I can't, I don't have the words to describe how much I love this song. Um, this also feels really nostalgic for some reason. Don't know why, but it's just, it's just brilliant. Um, it's really kind of powerful and feels like a very strong song. Liam is currently crying. <laughs> oh, my God, damn it. Um. And then we've got Dear Saint Cecilia, which is not that interesting. It's just kind of fast. And then you've got the next song, which is The Wider Powder Blue, which again is a slower one. I quite like this one. Um, not slower. Slower is the wrong word. Uh, softer. That's the word I'm looking for. I always get those confused. And then we finish on The Holding Hand, which was a single beforehand. This song is a is a very... Uh, it, it's, uh, I've broken. lost the word. Yeah, I had a really good word. In. I had a great word. Smoldering. Oh, is that right? It depends. Slow <laughs> is it? Kind of, no, no. <laughs> um, but it's, it's the whole song is a build up, so it starts off quite again soft and slow, but Crescen- kind of crescendo. It's a crescendo. The songs are crescendo. This is yeah. mid say. Right. Um, and because of that, as the last song on the album, it finishes really well. But I really like the kind of the main vocal line in this. Um, just for out, um, it works really well. So, overall for the album, um, there are some like really well structured songs and very interesting songs with some really interesting ideas. And then there are some songs that just are have good ideas but are just a bit boring. And so it feels like this really weird mix. It, it, it's strange that this is their fifth album. It feels like a debut album where they haven't quite worked out what they're going for. And, you know, you can tell they're already talented and they've got some tracks like Gold City. But then they've <laughs> still got... He loves Gold City, by the Gold way. Gold City's so good. But they've still got a few tracks that just aren't as interesting. And, you know, their second album will be, will be better. But this is their fifth album, so I've, I'm interested to kind of go back and I, I think I will go back and listen to some of their other stuff. Um, but, but yeah, as I say, some of the, the, the better tracks are massive standouts. Um, particularly for me, Gold City and Shell Song. Have I mentioned that I really like Gold City? Yeah, uh, what's your, what's your, what ones? would you say your favourite song of the album was, Liam? In Gold City, I'm saying it's Gold City. Um, there is one problem with this album, is the quality of the recordings. Um, a lot of the high end gets very muddy. That's maybe the wrong That's word, because you usually use thing. that for... But it gets very jumbled. I don't know the hat. It's, 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 there's a lot more high end than low end. It doesn't feel like there's much low end. Washy. Gets washy, that's a better word. Yeah, yeah washy, I like that. Yeah, um, and his voc- the vocals does. kind of get caught in that a little bit to point to it just kind clashing. of... Clashing. Yeah. Oh, ugh, clashing. No, I wouldn't say the now. vocals clash. The, the, vo- the vocals are kind of a separate issue where it kind of cuts off, but that's not quite right. But yeah, there's just something about the sound quality that isn't great. It's the same on Gold City. Listening here, <laughs> listening... Yeah. Wait, sorry, is Gold City a song from Gold this City, album? Gold City, as a oh. song, is fantastic. The rec- this recording of it isn't that great. Um, I've listened to it in in earphones, which is where the problem is mostly. Listening to it in the car wasn't as bad. Um, it was actually like perfectly fine. But any other way I've heard it just doesn't sound great. I think we listened to it on like your big speakers, Jan. Yeah. Uh, which is when I kind of noticed that it didn't sound great. Uh, but in the car, sound fine. So if you want to listen to it, listen to it in the car. Um, I've skipped over a couple things. Shout the song. Um, it sounds like Blur, like Yanni mentioned. Also, the vocal line is very... Um, um, Malcolmus. And what was the song I mentioned? I can't remember what I was mentioned. Uh, it was a Steve, it's a Steve Malcolmus song by Pavement. And it's on the album... Uh, you, you were fine. Crooked Rain, Crooked before. Rain. And it's called uh, Stop Breathing. I think it was Stop Breathing, it sounded like. Um, and then also there's another song where... I think it's Dear Saint Cecilia... The vocal line, I think, sounds quite like uh, Gimme Shelter by Rolling Stones, oh. which I thought was quite interesting given this album's called Seek Shelter. I don't know if that was intentional wow. or not. Good, yeah. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to rate it. Cool. Uh, I'm going to rate it 3 out of 5. 
Wow. Um, which is hard, and I wish I could give it higher. What would you rate Gold City? I'd <laughs> give that a 7 out of 5. Yes. Um, yes, you would. It's one of those where, like, I almost, up until, like, not long, just before we recorded, I was going to give it a 4 out of 5 just because some of the songs are really good. And then I thought, well, actually, no, some of them just aren't really that good. Mm. They're kind of boring. Uh, and maybe on another stirred. week, I think, like, if I, if I was to look back on other weeks of albums I've given 4 out of 5s, I'd probably been a bit too kind but i'm being tough this week tough and, love uh, from daddy, daddy G. but gold city is one of the best songs this year and i will not hear otherwise thank okay. you for coming to my ted talk um well I- i'm sure you're all dying to know Callum's opinion on this album please Callum, um, please tell us i listened to about 20 seconds and deduced that i wasn't in the right frame of mind for it because it's my last week of university and i'm very stressed because i do things that are oh bad. shut up but um yeah, I might go you back listen and listen to, to it. Uh, I've, I would have listened to Gold City because we'd have... Did we listen to it on the pod? Cover. Yeah, we, we covered it two weeks ago. Or last I think week? so, yeah. Two well, weeks. I can't remember it, but I will... As soon as we finish recording, I will go back and listen to it and see if... It's, it's a blatant lie. Instance. Yeah, you definitely... No, did you listen that, to that it? song, not the whole album. <laughs> when you said you listened to 20 Seconds, did you start from the first song? Uh, no, mate, I started from the fourth, then worked backwards, then went back down. Obviously, I'll start from the beginning. Okay, and did you actually only listen to 20 seconds or you're exaggerating? No, I want to say about 20 seconds. No. Well, nothing really happens in 20 seconds. That's why I asked. So that, I think it's weird that you can stop I, I, at that point. I can't remember Gold City much, but having listened to Shelter Song just before we started recording, I very much like that. Yeah. And I've saved that as a tune. Oh, we saved as a tune. one thing about me, Ollie. It's going to get played again. Wow. And it, if that ain't some high phrase, then. That's the highest praise Call it could ever be. Well, Mark, <laughs> tell me about your album this week, Mr. Mark. Thank I'm so you. excited to hear. Um, I've been listening to Van Weezer by the band Weezer. Um, first of all, the album artwork, horrendous. Um, Awful. I just want to get that out there. The writing just seems... I can't get my head around the writing. It's just very strange. Um... This is meant to be sort of like their I don't know, hair metal kind of <laughs> thing, I think is what they were going for, with the Van Halen kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to get right into it, I think. Yeah, I think that's a good place uh, to yeah. be in. It's with the first yeah. song. The end of the game, extremely Van Halen. It starts off with like a tapped guitar intro. Um, and then the rhythm of the chords in the beginning, and then I think it's in the post-chorus it repeats it is uh, extremely of that vein. Um, but the rest of it does sound like a very typical Weezer tune. It's all right. Um, a lot of these are just all right. Um, <laughs> all the hood ones, I didn't like this. I don't I remember if this is one of the ones that we listened to first, like when it was released or whatnot. But I felt like I've heard this before. Um, it is just far too cheesy, which... It's a fine line with Visa. It's either going to be over the top cheese and it's going to be shite, or it's going to be just the right amount of cheese. Um, I'm like mature cheddar. <laughs> um, Hero, same problem, just too cheesy. Lyrics are wet. <laughs> with my comments last night that I made to myself. Why are you working backwards, Yanni? What's going on? I'm not working backwards. You are. I'm not. Start with Hero. No, it doesn't. Is it different on Apple Music than it's Spotify? I don't know. This is what I've put off Apple Music. Because you've just gone third song, second song, first song. Wow. Couldn't put away. Oh, well. Who cares? <laughs> um, Sorry. Sensitive. And then after that on Apple Music, at least, um, I need some of that. This is the best song on the album. Yep. Um, this is OG Weezer. This is the perfect amount of cheese. That mature cheddar that I referenced before. It's coming right back, guys. Absolute banger. The middle eight is wonderful in this tune. Everything about it is great. The chorus is fantastic. Um, this is definitely my standout of the album. Uh, beginning at the end, the acoustic guitar that it sort of starts off with, I think it carries it throughout, or maybe it comes back at the end. It sounds very Nirvana. Um, I don't know if it's the chords or the way the chords are being played. Um, and it also features a ripping, was my word, guitar solo, which again is very Hayden-esque. Apart from that, though, I want to say like most of the songs don't really hear off that Van Hayden vibe. Not that I've listened to much Van Hayden, I must be honest. Um, but 
certainly don't get that. Most of it sounds like your typical Weezer, uh, which is fine. Um, Blue Dream is a direct copy of Crazy Train. Like, and <laughs> I, I'm not joking, it's actually Crazy Train. Uh, just that riff being played. Uh, apparently, because oh, oh, I did yeah. some research into this, it's been a demo since 2011. And I don't see the point in this. I don't know why this is on this it album. It literally is Crazy Train. I'm listening to it now. This is just Crazy Train. Uh, yeah, I know. Even like going from the intro into the... Yeah, it's Crazy Train. It's just Crazy Train. Yeah. I know. Oh, oh. Hold up. Oh. Um, <laughs> what the hell? But this song just doesn't need to be on the album. It like, doesn't fit at, at all. Um, it's just very bizarre. One more hit. Features by far the best lyric of the entire album. Pump it into me, please, daddy. Um, and that's the best part of the song, really. Um, that I think that's the pre-chorus. Um, it's a little bit just too on the nose with like the drug reference uh, references throughout, to be honest. Um, there's not much nuance to it, which, again... It's Weezer. There's never really much nuance, but it's just over that line, unfortunately. Uh, the next couple of songs are not really great. She didn't do it. Just a weak song in all aspects. I thought uh, She Needs Me it has an okay chorus, but again, just not very good. Um, so those two songs and Blue Dream, I would just bin off if I was if I was Weezer. If I was Rivers, I'd bin them off. Um, and then Precious Metal Girl. I... I actually quite like the song um, a lot. It seems odd ending it, this album, on a, just an all acoustic song. Like it's just purely acoustic the whole way through. Me and Liam listened to it like the start of the week, I think, mm-hmm. or something. And we both at the same time were like, oh, it's going to drop right now. And it didn't. It stayed acoustic. Yeah. Um, I would say that, yeah, it is odd, like I've said, but I'm glad it finishes the way it does on this because... It's nice to have this song acoustic. It was um, quite reminiscent of the previous one I had to listen to, which was OK Human, because mm-hmm. um, that was mainly like acoustic heap kind of things. But I'm glad that it didn't just go into like pure loud guitars. Um, it was kind of lo-fi, delicate in some places. Ooh. Felt very intimate with my words. Oh, God, I'm good at 12 o'clock nice. at night. Um, oh, and I like the lyric. I don't need to mine as long as you're mine. Because obviously it's precious metals. It doesn't need to mine. Okay, just, yeah. I thought that was a very good lyric. It's well very, done, Rivers, if that was rivers. you. I imagine it was. Um, so, yeah, overall, it's very Weezer because of the fact that there's some songs that are just shit <laughs> and then there's some <laughs> songs that are really good. <laughs> And that's just what you sort of expect from a Weezer album. Um, I don't really feel like I've mentioned before that it's much uh, there's much Van Halen influence uh, going on apart from segments of two songs, essentially. Um, There wasn't enough good on it to make it more than the three out of five. Wow. Well, Um, but like I said, uh, I need some of that and Precious Metal Girl, Metal Girl, even, God, can't speak, um, are very good songs. And if I were to make a Weezer playlist, they would definitely be mm. on it. Um, did anyone else listen to this? I did not. Well, I listened to those that you mentioned, Yanni, uh, that we listened to together. And yes, Liam. Yeah, I agree pretty much everything you said. I need some of that. It's a really good song. Yeah. Very good Weezer song. I will listen to um, that afterwards. I think the, the lyrically, lyrically on that though again is a bit on the nose, but I mean it's Weezer, isn't it? That's what you expect. Um, uh, yeah, it's everything sort of needs to work perfectly together for it to be heard. Otherwise, it's ju- it just leans too far mm-hmm. um, in the rubbish side of it. Yeah, oh, I think that that track musically is very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, the last song, "Precious Metal Girl," I think is really nice as well. Mm. Um, although. I would like to hear one where it drops into something heavy. Yeah, there was like a single would, version of this maybe and it was heavier or, you know, I don't know. Because I feel like it would fit really well with the music. Like It would suit the album more, but again, I'm glad they didn't do it because I really like this as it is. But I do want to hear a heavy version as well, like you're saying. 
Um, other than that, yeah, no, I haven't listened to it in full. Uh, Blue Dream sounds just like Crazy Train. You saw yeah. Right. Um, the, the first half is kind of better, apart from Precious Metal Girl, which I really can't speak. Um, so someone help me. Um, but yeah, you're right. It's yeah. not much. It's not. It's not a Van Halen uh, tribute act. It's a very much more, I guess, an homage to that kind of. I think the, them calling it Van Weezer was a bad move. Yeah, I was just looking on Wikipedia, and he uh, Rivers has said it's more of a nod to like, you know, Kiss, Sabbath, Metallica, Van Halen. It's a nod to all those kind of um, mm. hard rock, heavy metal bands from the whenever the seventies, whatever. Um, which I think makes sense, and you can see that influence there. But calling it Van Weezer makes you think, okay, it's going to be that. Where it is only that? Is it a second song with the kind of the tap intro? No, the well, the first one for me, but the end of the game. For you. The end of the game, yeah. Yeah, just the third track on Spotify. <laughs> um, that's the only one that's kind of I thought sounded, from what I know of Van Halen, Van Halenish. Mm. But yeah, I'll have to give the full finger listen at some point. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. So yeah. that's been our three picks. Um, if you have listened to them. Also send us your thoughts, please. Someone's got to do it at some point. Christ. Come on, send us a message. Just talk to us, please. We're people. Um, we're, Liam isn't. He's a lizard. Um, a lizard. <laughs> now it's it's on to the singles of this week. Oh, God. Starting with the amazing Jake Bug with his track Lost, which I think he is. Yeah, um, he is. <laughs> Definitely is. I, um, I've just put it's very average for the genre that he's going for like extremely average for that yeah. style yeah. Um, once you get past the fact like I think I started off when I first did it I was like this is just awful but that's because I'm used to Jake Bug being something completely different mm-hmm. but once I get my head past the fact you know he's not doing um, Bob Dylan rip offs um, then I just realised how average the song was yeah I quite liked the uh, the bass in the intro wasn't anything special, but I thought that was one of the highlights of the track, as well as the uh, verse melody of the vocals. I thought that was quite interesting, but ah, I was clutching for straws for praise. Really, it's it's very poor. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, I've never really listened to Jake Bug, so I have no kind of preconception. Well, that's a lie. Based on what you put in, oh, what he should sound like. You said he went from shite to shite. Yeah, that's what I, I never like this stuff, kind of. That's what I mean. So I'd never really listened to it. Um, and yeah, this just sounds... It's just kind of pointless. Yeah. As in like, well, he's just... He's kind of sold out what he was doing, which I think, if we're going to go deep on this, I think really what he was doing wasn't that interesting anyway. He just kind of did, he did well at being different at the time, but it wasn't actually very good. I would argue. Um, I would argue against you. And I, I think would argue against you as well. This is a natural progression for someone that I guess wasn't massively talented in the first place. So, and um, yeah, and as you said, Yanni. Ooh. Yeah, keep on slamming those things, mate. As you said, Yanni, <laughs> for this type of song, if you just kind of take him out of it, it's a very average song. Yeah. And so, in that sense, it just seems pointless. Yeah. It's not good from either end, essentially. It's not a good progression for him. And it's not good progression for that kind of song. So, you're stop, damn right. Stop making music. God, there's an echo in this room. Honestly, I tell you. So's Jake. Um, now from one boring song or average song at best to a very good song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little Sims with the song "Woman" featuring Cleo Soul. Yep. Um, chill AF and lyrically luscious. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. nice. Um, if I'm to pick little bits out just to be annoying, oh, I would God. say that I would like her to be more lively with her vocal delivery. It's very monotonous, I felt. I'm mm. going to step in here and say there was something on this track which I, I don't know if she does this usually, but I noticed that I quite like is that those little bits of like singing where she kind of drags a note and sings it as opposed to just kind of finishes it. I just, and that it, just made that a lot more interesting. It just feels like if this was just on in the background, it would sound like, eh, yeah, I guess her, so. Her she, voice. She doesn't change her 
yeah, you're right. There's no kind of melody to the words. But I think that's why the little singer bits maybe stood out then. That makes yeah. sense. Nice, I mean, I, I really did like it, and obviously she's amazing. Um, but I just would like a bit more um, energy, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. I don't know. But that's me nitpicking. Callum? Because um, I don't want them to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I like this a lot. Um, it was with Clear Soul. Uh, like you mentioned, and she was yeah, also thanks. the singer on Selfish. There was a point to it. You sarcastic. <laughs> um, I didn't think it was as good as that collaboration. However, I noticed a bit of synergy between the lyrics, which I thought was quite interesting. On Selfish, there's a line oh. that says, Diamonds will forever be a girl's best friend. And then in this one, there is also a link that says, Diamonds are forever. And then like mm. a little, a little riff based off that, which I thought was quite a cool little connection between the two. Don't know if it means anything like, right? but you know, I just, just I a good it. bit of musicianship, I guess. Isn't it? I think it might well be, but yeah, I like it a lot. I yeah. um, yeah, I like it. I think um, she's got a very good flow, but I think that's part of the issue that you were saying, Annie, is the flow is very the same the whole way through, not even like melodically, and just in terms of rhythmically, it's very similar. Uh, I really like the instrumental on this track, uh, and I think the the vocal hook from Cleo Sol was. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Just, a, just a, it onion. sounded very good. They just it sounded like, very good. the recording and everything was and lyrically luscious. <laughs> Look at now. I, I would think say. that's a highlight. Would say in my own words, little sims, isn't it? The wordplay, more so. The wordplay, indeed. That's yeah. definitely a How? highlight for me. Very good. There were some very good moments. A lot of mention of different areas of Africa, uh, different countries in Africa, and I haven't really listened to the lyrics. Probably should, but I just noticed there was a lot of kind of. There's a lot to take on board with the lyrics. You're Is not going to get it first. Well, she says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, stop messing with a, the wire. There's a lot of words. To Please. Me. Sorry, Annie. Thank I need to, you. I need to fidget Again. or something. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I just found it interesting, the wordplay with some of those kind of... I just kept hearing country names. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, the, uh, the next song uh, is by the band Jaws the Shark. The tune is Loose Change. Uh, Liam. Hello, my name's Liam. Hello. Tell me your thoughts. Um, I like this. I, 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 when it first came on, I it kind of hooked me straight away. Um, but I think that's quite quickly fizzled out <laughs> because it doesn't really do an awful lot, I think. Um, I quite like the sound of the guitar and drums and uh, the guitar and bass. Drums are fine as well. Um, I think like lyrically, it's not that interesting. Uh, and the big thing for me that really stood out is the chorus. The second line of the chorus is exactly like one of the lines, the vocal line, sorry, is exactly like um, from Laika by Arcade Fire. N- Neighbourhood 2, is it? Laika? It sounds exactly the same. It's the same kind of rhythm, the way he delivers it, and the same note almost. But as a song, yeah, fine. I'd be interested to hear more, I think, from Jaws the Shark, but... Um, this doesn't set my light, uh, my world alight much. Yeah, wow, that's me. Thanks, Thank Liam. Cal, uh, yeah, I liked it as well. It reminded me a bit of the Pigeon Detectives. I don't know why. I think it might have mm. been a guitar sound, but no, I, I, I liked it. I like, like Liam, kind of fizzled out for me, but you know, good tune, nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Mm. I uh, didn't think it sounded that great, recording wise. Yeah, you said that, didn't you? Um. Yeah, it, nothing really packed a punch for me. I don't know if it was my listening mm. medium, um, but yeah, it didn't. I think it could have sounded wider. And it sounded very yeah. focused um, and not the good kind of focused. I'm skipping back and forward between this song and a couple of others, and it sounds much more quiet mm. and yeah, very kind of compact. Yeah, that's the word. Compact, like a sandwich in cling film. Um, and I thought the chorus was just all right. Um, <laughs> it did remind me of something else, but I can't quite place it's, my finger on uh, it. Like so for everyone listening, okay, no, not that at all, actually, because she played that and it didn't sound anything like it. But we, thanks we for already very um, it. Yeah, it uh, sounds like something. Please write to me um, with your <laughs> answers. Uh, the next song, it's good old Gonzalez. The Wesmeister. 
Um, and Rose, Eleanor, Doodle. Yeah, that's what I'd go with. That's what you go yeah, with. Yeah, sure. Doodle. Um, the the song, gal. Great. <laughs> greater expectations. Um, very eighties. I think yeah. the voices worked well together. I agree. Uh, but wasn't a massive fan of the tune overall. Um, I liked it, but you can kind of tell that it was not on the album for a reason. I think if this was just, no offence to Wesley, because as you know, I am a big, well, I don't know if he knows, but I am a big fan. Album was in my top 10 of last year. But I think it's not, the song's not as good as anything off Appalling Human, but the additional vocalist kind of elevated it, which is kind of why I think I liked it more than... You know what I mean? I think because it was a but new that, element with the similar. Words. I think the best part was the combined vocals. Yeah, like I when agree. they were singing at the same time, that was yeah. the best. Bit. They worked extremely well together. Yeah, um, but yeah, your point mirrored. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to say pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I thought the voices worked very well together. Uh, I thought the song was fine. It was quite a kind of upbeat, kind of happy, mm-hmm. sounding track. Yeah, it felt like it could be in like a like a Disney film. <laughs> okay, okay. Almost. Yeah, I don't. I, for some reason, the particular film I'm thinking of is um, Ella Enchanted. I think did that have Neil Patrick Harris in it? Maybe that's, I think that's what I'm thinking of. I have no idea. Mate. Um, a happy kind of Disney-ish film with Neil Patrick Harris in. This should be in. Okay, in. but yes, I did that. like it and looking forward to hearing more. Well, that's good news. As always. Um, call player back. Well, yeah. They're back in business. Woohoo. God. It's you mean only four play. It's only been not long enough. Um, <laughs> this song <laughs> <laughs> is called Higher Power. I don't know why I'm sliding them off. I actually like Call Play. And yep. I like this song. Yeah, I it like the song as well. Yeah. Fun. Um, one little interesting bit. He mentions he's like a broken record. And then he sings a lyric, Drocker Nekorb a Kill Me, which is I'm a Broken Record backwards, which is quite wow. clever. Nice clever. clever. Well done, Chris, for being clever. Um, this was produced by Max Martin, who uh, produces every major pop song at the moment, to be honest. Um, so that's probably why it's ended up sounding good. Yep. Um yeah, a very catchy, I thought it was. Yeah. I mean, I'm not exactly the biggest Coldplay fan. I like some early Coldplay, but recently not been a fan. But this is, like you say, it's fun. I think that's the key word. Yeah. 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 Fun. Yeah. I like the verses. I thought the chorus was a bit cheesy, but I mean, you know, it's got good sing-along value. But yeah, I know I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, um, it's very modern Coldplay, isn't it? But it's, yeah, it's fun. In the same vein as something like him for the weekend was whatever. It's just kind of fun track. Yeah. Kind of good, kind of yeah, fine. Who wouldn't kind of? Who's going to be upset about that? A lot of people. People hate Coldplay. They need people to grow really up. hate. Grow them. up. Yeah, they've got really good songs. So really good. Make yeah. sure that you've grown up. I used to be um, firmly in the I hate Coldplay fashion, but especially awesome. especially early stuff is it just is very good. It's fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah. What's the um the, the good song? Like the really good song. I think you bought it on vinyl oh, yeah. long ago. Yanni, uh, I think you bought it on vinyl. I've got Violet Hill Did on. I? Oh Violet. that's a, yeah, that's a great tune. Which is a fantastic um, tune. Um I'll Did be I with you I'll be with you now. It's talk. Lost is a good song. Talk. Oh would... that is a good song. Um I wouldn't say it's Yeah, I don't even know. It's not good, um oh, that's a good song. Um Yes, so that's been called Play the Back, everyone. I think there's an album on the way, uh, but they're not going to be touring because pollution, apparently. Um, but they're happy to do a performance that has lots of pyrotechnics on... On the Thames. On the Thames. So, who knows, eh? Um, Inhaler, <laughs> Liam's favourite band. <gasps> Who's your money on? Plastic House? <laughs> Plastic Scouse, sorry. No. Um I didn't have a note for this because I listened to it the very start of the week and don't bother making notes until last minute. But I didn't like this, if I remember correctly. It was just a very lackluster. Yeah, I said the same thing. Um, but I have listened to it since. And it's kind of all right. 
It's fine. <laughs> It's kind of it's it's kind of fine. It's quite like late noughties uh, indie sounding. It yeah. came on when I was in the shower earlier, and I didn't. Uh, it came on, and I was like, I d- just didn't know what it was. Like I couldn't remember what it was at all. Uh, it was only to like the chorus or like half of the song that I realised what it was. And I was kind of thought it was alright, yeah. Mm. And yeah, it reminded me of some of those like kind of mid to late noughties indie bands. Um, I do think that the second part of it. Which I guess is plastic house, I'm gonna say. Um is fine and doesn't need to be on the single. If it's on the album version, it wouldn't bother me. And I know a lot of albums that have that kind of thing where there's a, a little song added onto the other one, even if it's in the middle of an album. But not on the single version. Just seems really really weird. Yeah, I thought that as well. I also But I guess um, it's oh, well, sorry. No, I was okay. gonna say I guess it's not it's not really a single version, is it? You know, a lot of these band, a lot of bands now don't really really single versions. This is just a track from the album. Yeah, um, but yeah, it still seems weird. It seems like um, they've released the two main singles, uh, "When It Breaks" and "Cheer Up Baby," as lo- as well as like the two older ones they put on. And then this is just, as you say, an album cut just to keep the momentum going for the release, which is a bit weird. But I wrote, I loved it, but I think I'm being a bit, you know, biased to my. F- like for the band but i did really i think you are and completely agree that plastic house shouldn't have really been on there it was good but just have a different song (laughs) you know what i mean just (laughs) just have a different song split them. um now the next one one of cal's there's a lot of cal's favorites this week week. um good week for cal all around apart from his uni work that he's no, it's, got, it's going well but it's just there's lots of it <laughs> um the band wolf alice i believe is that how you pronounce it wolf alice yeah wolf alice. um <laughs> no hard feelings eh no hard feelings that's the name of the song no a on the end they're not canadian um <laughs> but yes this was okay um can imagine it fitting well on a tv show yeah but i wasn't really taken aback by it um, yeah, I think the voice sounded really good. Um, the song was kind of nice, but yeah. boring. As a single, a very weird single. I think this is another case yeah. of the album track to keep momentum up. It's just, it is weird. I feel like a lot of bands do it nowadays. Mm-hmm. Similar with the next one that we're going to talk about. But Don't skip ahead. I'm not. Colin. I'm just a little tease. It's such a dirty little tease. Um, but yeah, about I, th- I thought the song itself was very, very nice. Um, I thought it was quite short. It kind of just seemed to stop quite abruptly. But, you know, you don't want to then. Long enough for me. <laughs> Fair, enough. Yeah. Long enough for me. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. The intro it's bass right. kind of gave me a bit of Black Country New Road vibes, which I thought was very strange when I found out that it was Wolf Alice. Like Truck X, is that what you're thinking? Maybe I am, but um, it's kind of the same thing the whole way through, and it's kind of uh, <laughs> very it's only like four notes, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe so. But I thought it was nice. Um, don't know why it was a single, as we said, but yes. But moving on, we have Saint Vincent with Down. Now again, this I don't is a cover of like... the Jay Sean song, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is. Um, I don't feel like this should again be a single. It's very strange. First listen, I did not like it one bit. But I really like it now. And I think Annie's voice sounds very good, especially on the chorus. First name basis, are we? Um, mm. I just thought it wasn't for me. The instruments sounded cool, but I didn't, I didn't get down to didn't it. didn't vibe with it, man. No, it wasn't my vibe. Uh, I agree with you, Annie. Thanks. Brilliant. Mirrors my thoughts. And that's all that has to be said on that. Uh, Mr. Jukes and Barney Artist, the back out of here with the white vans. Um, the song Same Vibrate. Thing. And I just thought it was pretty chill. And I imagine it'd be a good driving tune. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I thought it was a bit of a banger. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was fine. There's nothing wrong with it, is there? Nothing wrong with it. Boys. Kind of hey, straightforward, though. Speak to me. There's nothing wrong, is there? It just hits very straight, which is fine. 
but it's not the most interesting. It's what you thing. want from a golfer, depending on where you're placed. Exactly. Well, um, depends. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks, Dan. Thank you. Oscar Lang, are you happy? I'm okay, Oscar, to be honest. The song was harmless. A bit blossomsy. Yeah. Just to take the words out of the end. Yeah, you disagreed with me as well when I said that. <laughs> I know. I'm such a little <laughs> Um That's all I have to say on it. Uh, so you just you had nothing to say, so you stole what I said. That hey, you I said it was with. harmless. Those are my own words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I said the, it was like blossoms. Uh, it sounded like it at the very beginning anyway. I don't know what it is. It's something about maybe the beat, the drum beat or something. There's something about it. Um, but yeah, perfectly fine song again. Again, didn't mm. set my world alight. Yeah, I, didn't offend you. I feel, it didn't offend me at all. I feel like from what we listened to previously of Oscar Lang's, I don't remember it, but I feel like it was a bit more interesting than this maybe. Yeah, this, this is, is quite, very different. It's quite happy and go in the direction that a lot of these kind of um, kind of solo in the artist seems to be going. I feel like Alfie Temperman's in the same thing, and yeah, just kind of going in a, a bit more of a poppy route mm. when you expect maybe they wouldn't. Uh, maybe it's just this track, but who am I to judge uh, a man's creative output? I don't well, know. Who am I? Uh, but yeah, the who last track come? was uh, quite similar to the EP. I don't know to be in board, so I just presumed the song would go um, in that vein, but it was, you know, weird. Uh, the synth sound I liked, but overall, the song was not what I was expecting. It wasn't as good as previous stuff, but I did still like it. And I thought the... I don't know whether it was an outro or if it was just like a change in the in chorus at the end, but I liked that as a highlight. For me... Wow, thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks, mate. Um, thank second you, mate. to last now. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. The Goon Sax. Got to be careful you don't slip up on, mm-hmm. on that pronunciation. Yeah. Um, with the song In the Stone. Not outside of the stone. No, in, in the in stone. It. You're Copy inside it. it, okay? I put down, and I could be incredibly wrong. Um, Carl, I think you might have more of a knowledge of this I put Cardigans vibes is that my perfect game Cardigans the, yeah, oh right cardigans. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. not <laughs> not the clothes no I do <laughs> yeah no I get what you mean <laughs> um, um, that's what I got uh, I could be wrong but I got that that sort of um, late are they late, late 90s early noughties um, yeah. kind of thing from it mid and I really like it Again, another one that I've saved, which means that I will be listening to it again, at least once. Um, <laughs> Is that how it works? When you save it, it you will hear it once before you Exactly. Die. If it's saved, it's staying, baby. Um, but yeah, a nice contrast between the male singer and the female singer. Yep. Um, and it was just very for me. Yeah, I liked it a lot as well. I don't want to use the cliche, but I mirror your thoughts, mate. Um, oh, however, oh. in the intro, I don't know what it was about it. The claps seemed really off. I don't know if yes. it was a horrible yes. sound or if they were ever so slightly out of time. They were ever so slightly out of time. It seemed to. It got better when the vocals came in. I think. Yeah, it seemed yeah, it to did. work later on in the song, but at the, at the start, it was definitely off. Which that's the name of the loud for. Liam, what did you think? I'm gonna throw a, I'm gonna throw a span in the works, I'm gonna throw a stinker and a stonker oh, upon this way. panel of plates. I'm gonna say banger. <gasps> banger alert, ding oh, dong. Wow. No, I really like it. Ding I dong. Like it. I've got glow up to watch actually. You've got what, sorry? Do you not watch glow up? Is that not where you get ding dong from? Glow up? Oh yeah. I haven't watched a new one actually, to be honest, because uh, I don't really like my jammer. Um yeah, I'm just curious, she hates it. Yeah, I have really quite liked Stacey Dooley, so it's a bit upsetting to me. Mm. Uh, I'm still grieving. Um, <laughs> but I might get around to watching it at some point. Um, good. Yeah, quite like it up. Um, but, yeah, this song... But. Good. Uh, the two vocals together work really well. Musically, it's not much happens, I guess. Um, apart from, obviously, just into the chorus and stuff, and there's like a bit of a solo at the end. Um, but, yeah, pretty good. It kind of... Um, I don't know if it's just the... No, I'm listening to it now. It's not just a female and male vocalist. 
somewhat sorry-ish, I guess, mm, yeah. in a kind of a stripped back way. Um, it's better than. No. <laughs> um, but I would, I'm would. i definitely interested to see where they go from here. Although I believe they've released a few albums. They have. I was checking out before. strange. So <laughs> definitely going to go back and listen to those. A band Less releasing strange. albums? Strange. Sorry. It's all right, mate. Would you say Please. it's a sin? <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. He's been God. waiting years and years for that. <laughs> just about to fucking do that. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Elton John. <laughs> Elton John. Um, I watched the blood rush from his face as he noticed what I was saying. Shut up. Um, <laughs> it's a sin, everyone. Years and years, Elton John. We've mentioned that we'll be covering this. We've alluded to it. Get oh, your yes. dabbers out and dab the Ding fuck out of that um, I watched the performance. <laughs> That's all I know of this from the Brits. It's <laughs> to be fair, this is an actual song, isn't it? Yeah. To be yeah. fair, the single sounds pretty similar. Yeah. Quite impressed. To the original or to the cover? A bit to of the, both. To the live version. Elton sounds better. Oh, sorry, well, yeah. Mr. John. Yeah. Well, I thought Elton sounded pretty poor, but still a lot better than some of the live. Uh, that one where he does it in, like, in the garden. Back garden. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was bad. That was very bad. Yeah, but yeah no, the, the performance was good. The song, obviously, is a good cover of the original. I liked it. That, Funky, my what? hips were going. I said this last night to you, Liam. There's a lot of space in this song. There's a lot of space. A yeah. lot of space. Mm. It was more obvious when they were on stage. Yeah, because it? it was awkward. <laughs> With the amount of uh, space. Anyway, that's been the singles as well. There's probably more. I mean, undoubtedly there's more, but they're not as important as those. So we moved on from Hot the Press. We're over that. It, just, it doesn't matter to us anymore. The next thing we've got firmly in our beam. What would you call the beam, Liam? If you had to name it one thing. A beam? Yeah. Support. Load bearing. <laughs> I bought a house. <laughs> Don't ask me about beams. <laughs> um, there's an album spotlight right here. It's that section. Album spotlight, right now. Callum. Hiya, mate. Hiya, my friend. Hello. Liam is stripping for Woo-hoo. us. Da, da, da. You missed it now. Get your dabbers out. What for? <laughs> Why do you want me to put it this time, Liam? No. Yanni, if you found a giant squid, colossal okay. squid in a bright green field, what's the first thing you'd do with it? I'd make an album out of it. Fuck. I'd, I'd make some calamari. Calamari? Yes. And that's a, but there's a few steps before that. And how would you... I would be able to instantly batter that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then deep fry it until... Crispy Holden Brown on the outside. Mm. And delish. Delish your Delish that dish into my bish. <laughs> um, the album, in case you've not Sorry? deciphered that, <laughs> is Bright Green Field by the band Squid. Calamari. By the band Calamari. Raw Calamari. Raw Squid. Fucking um, raw. Ex- exactly. We've got Gordon Ramsay in the room. He's here. This album, let me tell you, after Callum's give his opinion. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought there were some good moments on here. I enjoyed it as a whole. However, the overriding theme that I've mentioned with every single release thus far, it's just far too long and mm. there's just so much stuff that can be cut. However, Narrator, still a massive highlight for me. I think that is a great tune, one of my favourites of the year. I also really liked GSK and 2010. Um, There's a horn in GSK that really reminds me of The Only Way Is Up by Yaz. Uh, Particularly like the start of Tawi. And it it is near on identical. Um, but yeah, there's hints of shame and Black Country New Road in there. If you've never listened to Squid before, you might you might like it if you've uh, if you like them bands. Um, but like I said, all I can think about when I hear it is that 
if it was a bit more streamlined and a bit more, you know, cut back, it would cut have back. It would have really benefited it as a whole project. I was listening to it again today. I was listening to it again today and um Sorry, I thought when, I'd been when did mis- you listen to it again? Well, well if I wasn't you... rudely interrupted by Liam, I wouldn't have had to repeat it. Would <laughs> Sorry, I? Liam, Don't worry. I forgot uh, we were recording. For people, <laughs> people can't see this, but Liam, you look extremely red in the face. You do. It's fucking hot. You look how I it. you look Tomato. like how I normally oh. look. Really um, um, but yeah, I'm gonna carry on. Yeah. Um please do. I can't remember what I was actually gonna say. You listened to it today. Yes, <laughs> and I felt like I'd been listening to it for hours and I was on the fourth song uh, because most of them are like seven minutes minimum. But yeah, I think uh, they're an exciting band. Well, there's a lot that are about seven minutes. There's, you know, but it three. too much. Stop interrupting me. Yeah, fuck off. It's just, it's long. Um, Crack on. Th- they're an exciting band and I'm excited to see where they're going to go. But I hope they learn how to reduce tracks. I am done. Wow. Thank you, Callum. Liam? Hello. Hiya. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction. What are you doing here? Uh, cut back. They should. Agreed with Callum. I do. Um, GSK was pretty good. Pisk. Pretty into GSK. Enjoyed that. His vocals were good. Weird vocals. I didn't really, I didn't, with though. the singles, I didn't really notice. I am what I am. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, GSK, fun. Not fun, <laughs> but good, I should say. I really just enjoyed the groove on that one. The bass was pretty good. The bass was quite doing nothing-ish. Um, the bass doesn't do anything. It just, it just doesn't do nothing, mate. Uh, Uber allies is everywhere. Um, then we're into narrator. Great tune great party track one for the uh one for clubs. the for the clubs <laughs> 21st of june get straight on the radar um i say that and i mean specifically the verses of that song and i guess they're kind of i'm my own narrator as soon as it goes into the slower kind of i got my butt part uh <laughs> where the female vocals are in that's that that part's fine and then the heavier it gets towards the end, and it starts just starts sounding like traffic, and then she starts screaming. There's no need for that. I can't listen to that. That doesn't get listened to. <laughs> no. That gets skipped. That's not being enjoyed by anyone. Yeah. So that eight and a half minute song, three minutes. Thanks. Done. Well, you can listen Thanks. to the edit. It's better. Right. The edit has I've the saved screaming. The edit. Oh, does it? There's no way I'm listening. Yeah, to the edit. Has, oh, it at least has the like the build, massive build up, which is just unnecessary. Oh, oh wow. Um, next up, Boy Races. Wow. Enjoyed that track as well. That that song finishes in three minutes. The track is on for seven and a half minutes. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> and a good chunk of that is just nothing. There's just nothing going on. There's just noise. It's the most pointless thing ever. Um, paddling. Um, I mean the same thing no the paddling just is quite repetitive the whole way through um, there are parts of that that are good in kind of concept but it just drags a bit too long I mean, the paddling's fine actually I'm being a bit too harsh on paddling documentary filmmaker I quite like documentary filmmaker that's a bit more soft um, and I quite like that um, that's quite a bit more black country new I think but again could have finished a minute earlier, I think. Uh, then everything after that, I don't remember because I feel like I've listened to this album 20 times since it's come out <laughs> and I've spent hours with it. And then Yanni was listening to it earlier and I think it was Global Groove came on. And I was like, I've never heard this song. I've never got to this <laughs> point. I know for a fact I've never reached Global Groove. I actually don't think I've listened to Peel Street. Um, yeah, it's just too long and... The, the last song pamphlet I like the, the vocals doing that and the way it builds up for eight minutes man it's just I just want it, it's a it's a big case of I want quality over quantity with yeah. these guys and that's not always the case I can see why you wouldn't do that but I just don't think their quantity is good <laughs> so I really and I really think their quality is good if that makes sense mm. um, so it feels a massive shame it's hey, not a shame, mate. It's, hey, uh, it's shame. Good. Sorry. Um, I apologise. Not sorry either. Um, it feels a massive shame that they've 
it just feels like they've just wasted time. Yeah, I agree. It really I think, does just feel like they've just wasted time. I think the only track that warrants being that long is Narrator, apart from the screams in your case, obviously. But but that's like a good two and a half minutes yeah. <laughs> of screaming at the end. It's more than that. It's just it's a lot of just noise. It's just that dunk, 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 that part at the end. Like, I, um, what is going on? Yeah. Thanks, Liam, for Thank that. Thank you, Yanni. Thank you, Yanni. Uh, I'm going to be completely transparent with you people. Um, I haven't listened to this song, album, even song, in full, um, and I don't intend to. I don't think I had many um, good points to say about Narrator when we first covered it. However, going back over it, I do like it. Again, no, extremely far too long. Mm-hmm. No need at all. For any of that length, Giggity. Um, That's what she said. Oh, Lucky <laughs> Harris. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I liked 2010 as well. Um, I, I can only mirror everyone's thoughts here. It's just too long. You just want quality, like Liam said, not quantity. So the only time I can see the length being useful (laughs) (laughs) this is extremely um naughty um is in a live situation otherwise i don't want to hear it i don't need this i'd be bored stood there listening to this no i think you get into it with the narrator because it's yeah you you definitely vibe with them screams live yeah yeah i'd be headbanging You'd be hell doors doors doors, yeah (laughs) um but there's some of them that like the the long parts are just I hope we'd just be stood there waiting for some talk. Yeah, was it... Yeah, with Boy Races that literally nothing happened with for nothing like happened. a certain... a certain, Well, most of the song. It's literally like three minutes. Nothing. Three, after nothing three minutes, the song is seven and a half minutes long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the song stops... The song, the song, there is a song there that stops at three minutes and they just play noise. Yeah, exactly. So... It's so stupid. It's... Um, they've got the talent. They just need to learn to be more concise. If we were to give feedback on this, yeah, Cal, I really, um, mate, honestly, it's gonna fuck me off if you don't give me your opinion on the score on this right now. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten, okay. which I think yeah. is generous. Um, yeah. I'm listening to Boy Racers now, and do you know what? That three minutes is really good. <laughs> I, it really is. I'm giving it a six out of ten. I'm just lucky it's getting a six out of ten. I'm also giving it a six out of ten. It could so easily be an eight. Mm. or a nine if they really just worked on it and it feels like a shame because actually it's not shame I feel like we're shitting on it pardon it's <laughs> I feel like we're shitting all over it but really musically very talented band yeah. and all that bit that's just noise and annoying is actually like musically very good but just don't it's just it. not what we want just don't no. want it just give us some more like narrator. The main part of narrator is so, is so groovy and so yeah. good, and every instrument, all the little guitar parts are so good, and the vocals are brilliant. And the drum work is fantastic. God damn it, man! So that's a seven six six. So Liam, seven six six. I need the mode. Oh, I'm not ready. Hang on. Just give me two seconds. While I'm getting the calculator up, you can do the mode. Oh, surely. I can do the mode. Yeah, six. And the median is six. Mean is um. 6.3 recurring. Wow. And then the range. The range is, is, is a lonely one. Again. Just one. One is I just the loneliest say, number that you'll ever do. I meant to mention this before. I had pre-ordered this album oh. um, from Rough Trade a long time ago. I completely forgot about it. Um, and so last just week... they're still pressing it that you haven't got it. Still pressing it, yeah. Still going. <laughs> completely forgot about it. And last week or whenever it was, got a notification. I was done a tway and I was like, oh. I completely forgot about that. Why? And Rough Trade also Why? take your money out when they send it. So usually I'd be like, oh, I'm going to have to try, try and cover that. Do you know what I mean? Whatever. Um, This one, I'm actually just going to send it back. Yeah. I forgot I was getting it. And so on. An, if this was an album I enjoyed, I'd be chuffed. I'd think, oh, brilliant. I managed to get a, a pretty decent version, a Rough Trade exclusive. I'm just going to send it back. I really, I'm not bothered about owning this on vinyl. It'd be cool oh, to have right. It'd be cool to have Boy Racers. Well, that, that was my question. But, Do they have they released singles or not? No. Oh, well, done. it would be cool to have Narrator, and that's what made me think. And if, you know, Boy Racers and a few other little bits. But I'd have to try and find that particular one minute period on the record. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not a friggin' double LP. Ridiculous. 
Liam's fuming. He's enraged. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. Um, so yeah, that's been our um, spotlight. There's no one signed here delivered because you're all lazy cunts who don't send this music. <laughs> 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 um, mm-hmm. And there's no under the needle because again, report. We've told you we're eating Rustler's burgers here. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sending records back. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any worse than the current situation. Um, truly, truly. Um, so that's going to round off this podcast in a nice, neat little bow. So it is. Next week's album spotlight, we have we have decided, pre-recording, Paul Weller with his fat pop, which Sorry. I can already tell you now is going to be, be a fat pile of shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Falls out of ten across the board. <laughs> um, so if you're excited to hear us slander an album, then please join us next week. Because we most certainly will. I don't think we're going to be taken we, back uh, or by surprise. Have we considered doing a classic? <laughs> no, no it's, not at this it point. Is, it is a you know substantial release. I think we should cover it. Is it yeah. okay? But we, we the, covered Lonely the Brave. Yeah, it is. Our that was a mistake. Oh yeah, we did cover Lonely the Brave. Our individual picks, which are not going to dive old yet, um, mm, are up. hopefully going to be very good. Um, yeah. So fingers, toes, legs, arms. Faces crossed. Every limb. Uh, every limb. Dicks crossed. Boys. Cross those dicks. Um, Ask Instagram, first. Facebook. You can find us on there at Falls on the Hill Podcast. Twitter at Falls on the Hill Pod. YouTube, Falls on the Hill. There won't be a video because, again, Callum's just a fucking lazy bastard. He won't bother making a video. Christ. He's trying to tell you him to do, do one thing and he just won't yeah. do it. Too- so Come back next too- week. So ding that bell and you'll yeah. know when it's coming in, into your soul box. You'll be donged. You will be done. <laughs> you can be one um, of them seven viewers. <laughs> wow, seven. That's good. Seven, that's gone up. Fair play. We'll buy seven. Um, <laughs> Liam. Johnny? Honestly, mate, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> it's been a, a joy, a pleasure, and uh, I'm so grateful to um, to God, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. For uniting us in this, in this manner. Oh, um, it's a pleasure. Callum, thank you for your company. It's been... Pleasure's been mine. It's been a great honor and a privilege to see those beautiful locks um again um and on that note uh, it's time to say goodbye <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 any uh, uh, random bits of trivia yeah uh, uh, callum please don't interrupt <laughs> callum, i was about to i was so leading us out then i was literally oh leading us out are you gonna find trivia now I was going to, yeah. Go on quickly. Let me say the monthly playlist for April is up. I haven't posted about it because I'm too busy. But it's there if you want to listen to the favourite tracks of April on Spotify. Search for uh, Falls on Hill, I guess. Falls on Hill in April. (laughs) And then click. I think if you search for Falls on Hill and then click see playlists, you'll see them all. Yanni, I'm, not, I'm not finding any trivia. No trivia. Okay, no so trivia. thanks again. I'll just do this again. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Yanni. <laughs> uh, lovely to see you. Callum, Luscious Locks, everything. Uh, on that note, see you next time. I'm going to finish on some um, finish on some wise words from the one and only Taylor Swift Go from on. last night's fantastic speech <laughs> at the Brits. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do this. Go on. No, I don't think it is what you think <laughs> it is. Uh, words that really resonated with me. Um, and I want you all to think about it. We live in a world... Wow. Ponder on that one. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Good, good night. night. Good. One good and Mary's. all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> night. <laughs>